Last thing that we're going to work on, we're going to show how all of these side mount escapes chain together. Okay? So we're going to go for number one, which is pull guard. If we try to pull guard, he tries to push his weight back down on top of us, we're going to go for the wheelbarrow. If, if we go to pull guard, he pushes his weight down, we try to go for the wheelbarrow, he sprawls his legs, we do the hook and roll. If we do the hook and roll, and he brings his legs back behind him, then we do the double under. Okay, it looks like this. Our opponent has us in side mount. I'm trying to pull guard, okay? So my first one is just pulling the guard. All right? This time, when I go to pull guard, your opponent pushes his weight down on top of you. So we're here, and we have to push over with the wheelbarrow. Okay? This time, when we go for the wheelbarrow, he's not going to let us have it. He's going to put his weight down on his butt. So I go for guard, he pushes over. I try to roll, and he sits his weight down. I go for the hook and roll. I hook and roll. This time I'm going to go for the hook and roll, but he's going to shoot his legs out. I can't reach him, okay? So I go for guard. I can't get it. I go for wheelbarrow. I can't get it. I try hook and roll. He shoots his legs out. I reach under. I come up in a side mount with double under. That's chaining your sweeps and escapes together. If he, if he gets out of the first one, he goes into the second one. And you can chain those together however you'd like. If when you go to pull guard, he's going to give you the hook and roll, obviously go straight to it. You don't have to go through them each individually. That's just a good chain that you can start with. It's a good four-set series.